What's going on everybody? My name is Drew and I like to draw cartoons and welcome back to another drawing and ranking video. I'm going to be revisiting my video from three months ago where I ranked my top five movies of 2024 so far. We are now three months later and now since then there are only two movies that are still on this list from the previous one. I'm so excited to talk about this. I tried filming this a month ago and then since then the list has been completely changed and there are a bunch of new additions so I'm very excited to talk about these new movies. If you've seen my other drawing and ranking videos, you basically know how this is going to work. I'm going to be talking about and ranking certain things, whether it's movies or characters, and then I'm also going to be drawing them as I go along to show the ranking as a whole. This one's going to be a little bit different because you're going to see something similar to this South Park bus stop, which is something that I've done over the years. I did a lot of them last year, so I'm excited to do it for this drawing and ranking video. And with this South Park bus stop, you're basically going to be seeing me picking a character, maybe my favorite character or just the top character from that film, and then drawing them as a South Park character, but more representing the, the kind of template that the kids at South Park have rather than the adults, and they're going to be having their faces, and then the little circular hands, and then just overall tiny torsos and legs. So that's going to be the overall template that you're going to see for these characters. Before I dive into the ranking, please make sure to like and subscribe, check me out on my Instagram, check out my TikTok, and also check out my letterbox for the full ranking of every single film I've seen in 2024 so far, which is approaching 50 films. So it's very exciting. So please make sure to check all that out. Now, starting out in the number five spot is one of the two movies that are still here from my previous video, and that is Monkey Man. If you saw that previous video, you heard me talking so much about how much I love this movie, how much I love the story, I love the acting, I love the action. Dev Patel absolutely knocked it out of the park. So it makes sense for it to still be in the top five. So kicking off this list, we got Monkey Man at number five. We are now at the number four spot, and this is another film that I've been talking about so much about how much I love this movie, and that is Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm sure there's so many people out there that would not have this movie in their top five, but I cannot explain how much I love this movie. I really think this was like the perfect version of what this film should have been. I think everything about it just flowed so well, the comedy, the action, even has some incredible moments with new characters or old characters that are coming back, which is why it's in this top five at the number four spot. Now, moving into the top three, I have at the number three spot, I have Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. This film is absolutely insane. It's one of the best action films probably of the decade. It is absolutely phenomenal. Every single shot in it is so beautiful. George Miller knows how to make an awesome looking movie. And it's got some great action. It's got some incredible vehicles, some great moments. Anya Taylor-Joy was incredible. Chris Hemsworth was a huge bright spot for me in this film. I thought his villain performance was one of my favorite performances I've ever seen him in a movie. He was so incredible in this. And it all ties together into an incredible film that I love watching so much. So that makes sense for Furiosa to be at the number three spot. We are now at the number two spot. And for this film, this is a film that I literally watched last night and it absolutely blew me away. I had such an incredible time. One of my favorite watch experiences of a film in my entire life that was not in a movie theater, and that is Challengers. This film was so incredible and one of the best films I've seen in such a long time. It absolutely blew me away. It was so much better than I ever could have expected it to be. It's another example of it really being the perfect version of a film that it was supposed to be. It is anchored by Zendaya in an absolute powerhouse performance as a truly, truly terrible person. And it all just, this love triangle in this film is so incredible. And I absolutely loved the timeline and the way that they told this story. It's jumping in all these different points in time, but it all still flowed together so perfectly. I love this film so much. I just can't sing this movie's praises enough. It was phenomenal. It's my only other five-star film of the year so far. So it makes sense for it to be the number two spot because I absolutely loved it. I could be wearing rose tinted glasses because I literally just watched it last night. But I think over time, I'm just going to love it more because I had such a great time with this film. Before I get to the number one spot, if you watched my previous video, you already know what it's going to be. I just want to talk about some of the other top films of the year so far for me. Some of the, one of those being Inside Out 2. I thought that film was very, very good. It recently just became the highest grossing anime film of all time, which is kind of crazy that this is the one that's the highest grossing anime film of all time. But still very good has some very good representation of what anxiety is like and what some of these emotions are like and what growing up is like in general. So it's a very beautiful film. Another film on this list would be something like Alien Romulus, just outside my top five. I thought that film was incredible. One of the best alien movies I've ever seen and definitely one of the best action films of the year. There were just some things that I really just didn't like about it, including the final alien and Rook, the inclusion of Rook. It just really felt weird. There's just some creative choices in that film that I just didn't like. So that's why it's a little bit lower. But seeing the practical suit of that alien at the end has just become made it even cooler. But it still just wasn't for me. I just couldn't really get into it. And then another film just outside my top five, something like Long Legs. I thought that film was awesome. It was a little bit underwhelming compared to what the marketing was. 
but I still think that it was really cool. I loved the emphasis on hiding Longleg's face for so long in the film. I thought that was so good. And there's just a lot of good editing, a lot of good sound mixing. It's very good at building suspense. So it's a very good film in that respect as well. Anyway, enough rambling about these other ones, on to the number one spot. Now, if you've seen this film, I think it's pretty clearly that this is the number one film of the year for most people, and that is Dune Part 2. Again, I just cannot say enough great things about this film. The performances from start to finish are so good. It's such a beautifully shot film. The action is incredible. It's an incredible story with insane moments, awesome quotable moments, even some great memes came out of it. So that's basically the perfect formula for an incredible film in this day and age. So Dune Part 2 at the number one spot. So there you have it. Here's my full ranking of the top five films of 2024 so far, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this ranking in the comments. What are your favorite films of the year so far? And again, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram and check out my letterbox for the full ranking and upcoming reviews that I do because I do watch a lot of movies and I do post on there a lot. So please make sure to check me out there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and keep on drawing.